everyone. Today I will show you a marble effect with shellac on the nails. Easy and simple. As a base I've applied Brisa Light Sculpting Gel and so you can apply the color shellac directly on the Brisa Light Sculpting Gel. Apply them on 10 nails and cure the layer for 2 minutes in the C and D UV lamp. Now we will be fading the additives into the top film of the shellac. I'm using Plum Love with a number 6 brush, C and D brush. You can layer the additives into the sticky layer or the top film of the shellac. Just little presses fading the additives into the sticky layer and it will give a beautiful metallic effect. Apply the additives on half of the nail, little pressures and fading the additives into the sticky layer. For the other half of the nail I'm using Blue Heaven. Tap that also into the sticky layer or the top film. If there is any residue on the skin just brush it from the skin with your brush. Press the additives in the sticky layer and let it fade into the other color. And as you can see it gives a nice metallic shine. Now I will show you how to marble. I'm using black pool, moonlight and roses, lobster roll, cream puff and silver fib status. Just place a dot on the glossy side of photo paper. With the dotting tool I will show you the first marble effect. Little dots placed over the nail with cream puff, then a dot into the cream puff of lobster roll, moonlight and roses also placed in the dots and then silver fib status for a nice glittery effect. Black pool little dots and now you can make little S's and H's through the dots. Don't mix them too long because otherwise you'll be mixing a color instead of marbling. If you want more effect in your marble design play some cream puff extra and make a few eights. As you can see this is the first marble effect. You can do this on all 10 fingers. Now I will show you a different way of marbling. I'm using a brush now, placing dots and stripes of lobster roll, moonlight and roses, just randomly over the entire nail, cream puff, Dip your brush into isopropyl alcohol and as you can see you can make some stripes through the dots and it gives a nice marble effect on the nail. Marble 2. Marble 3. Placing dots of lobster roll on the nail cream puff in the center, moonlight and roses on top of the cream puff. Be sure that you don't work too thickly. Take a striper brush and press it through the dots to get a marble effect. Upwards downwards and if you want sideways 
be sure to make your marble effect. The fourth way to make a marble effect is just by making a marble on top of the nail. Place some dots on the top. I'm using cream puff, black pool, lobster roll and silver fib status. With the striper brush moving upwards through the dots on the top you can make a beautiful marble effect. As you can see here are four ways to make a marbleizing effect with shellac. Have fun and create your own marbles with different colors and different colors of base coat and you can see it will give a beautiful beautiful marble effect. You can place some rhinestones into the marble effect to complete your design. Press the rhinestones in the uncured shellac and then place the layer for two minutes in the UV lamp. Finish your design with shellac top coat. It will give it a nice and resilient shine and your marble effect will pop up. When you're using shellac top coat over the rhinestones be sure to secure them in the whole layer of shellac top coat. The thumb is only layered with additives and that gives a beautiful effect also. So we'll finish this one also with shellac top coat. Cure for two minutes. Remove the sticky layer of the top film with isopropyl alcohol and a lint free pad. Then massage the cuticle area with solar oil. Don't forget to massage the top of the finger also. And finish with sensations lotion. And here is a beautiful marble effect. Four different ones. Have fun!